Hey there, welcome to Nice Guy Photo Studios. How are you doing today? Great, I'm glad to hear that. Let's see. So, it looks like you are here today for a couple of headshots and portrait shots. Is it for a passport photo? No, no just so just so you can have some headshots to share around. Yeah, you get a lot of those. So I am just going to get set up. So just sit down there for a second. Let me just do a couple of things. So before we get started, I thought I would just give your hair a bit of a brushing. It looks fine, but I just want to take care of those uh, couple of strands that are out of place there. So, just don't mind me for a second. Just... There we go. It's not too bad. Good. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is use my phone and I'm going to take a couple more photos of you just so I can check the light balance and the light levels so I can have the exposure set properly when I take the photos with you with the DSLR. Okay, so just sit back, just relax your shoulders. There, that's good. So if you could just tilt your head this way a bit, just a bit. Perfect. Hold that pose. Great. Now if you can just sort of grab your chin. Yep, just like that. Good, good. Okay, and hold it. Great. Now if you can just turn your head the other way just a bit. Just tilt it. There we go. Okay, now just hold that for a few seconds. Good. So let me just check the light. You can use this kind of exposure. Good. Okay, just a couple more photos. Here, I'll take it from this way. chin up a bit. Good. So just kind of look here. Look at where my hand is. Ready? Hold that pose. Good. Now if you can just look over here instead. Just look at my hand. Hold that pose. Excellent. Just another one now. I'm going to stand back a bit further. Yep, just look right up here. Good job, good job. Let me just look at these. Good. You are really photogenic. Great, okay. Just going to comb your hair a little bit more. Just kind of moving a couple of stray strands. It's 
So I'm going to apply a little bit of makeup. It's nothing to be scared about. It's just so it gives you a bit more of an even tone. But I'm going to have to match your skin tone a bit first. So just bear with me. It's a bit of a science. So let's see. So first, I'm going to try putting some foundation on you. This is to help kind of blend your skin out a bit. It kind of helps to hide uh, red spots. I just have to blend it in a bit using a blender. No, it's not like a kitchen blender. It blends the skin, uh, the uh, makeup, just to kind of even it out a bit. sure that skin tone matches you. I might have to go a shade lighter. So these wet wipes, they're a little bit cold, but I'm going to use it to wipe off the excess makeup on your face so I can try a different shade. shade lighter this time.
Sometimes it takes a little bit to blend it in. I think that's looking good. Yeah, that's looking pretty even. So now I have a bit of concealer. So what we're going to use this for is to just put it a bit under your eyes, just a bit around there, just so we can cover the bit of dark circles that you have under your eyes. Easy, easy peasy. It won't take that long. If I can get it open. So one last thing, and this is completely optional. Let me just see if I have it. So you have really nice eyelashes, but I just want to do a little bit to make them pop out a bit more. So if it's okay with you, I'd like to apply a bit of mascara. I know it's a little bit unconventional for just headshots, but why not? Great, okay. Great, so if you could just look up. Yeah, you can really see eyelashes when you apply just a bit of mascara, not too much. Okay, and look up again. It looks good, it looks good. So I just want to put a little bit of hair paste. They call it fiber paste, hair wax, whatever you want to call it, just to kind of keep things in shape as you're moving your head around. Good. I just want to take a couple of more quick photos with my phone once again just so I can get the correct exposure settings. Great, did you 
you can just turn your head to the left a bit. Like this. Perfect, yeah. Now just turn it to the right. Just very gently. Good. And if you could just turn your head back to the center, just lift your chin up. Great. Now hold that. Good. Okay. I have the settings here, so I am just going to get set up with the DSLR. to go. So just sort of tilt your head a bit to the left again, just like this, very gently. Good. Okay, now hold it. Now if you could just look here where my hand is. Good. Okay, keep your eyes right there. Hold that pose. Excellent. Now, yeah, just keep your head facing that way, except move your eyes kind of over here. Good. Okay, now hold that pose. You're doing wonderful. Now if you could just relax your shoulders a bit. Good, good. Now just stare straight at me, straight down the barrel of the camera. Keep looking. Now smile just a little bit. Good job. you to just remember that pose you did earlier where you just sort of yeah you just sort of put your hand on your chin like you're pointing and just rest it there like this I know it's a little bit cheesy but it always turns out into a great photo so just look over here again look right at this sign hold that pose I'm just going to, I just want to fix some of that makeup. There, I think that looks a bit more even. Good, good, okay. So you can just relax in this state, just sit back, shoulders relaxed, sit up straight, keep your chin up, 
and I want you to still keep staring at this. Right here, where the lady is. So tilt your chin up just a bit and look towards the left a bit. Yeah, like this. Put your chin a bit more down actually, down more like good. Hold that pose. So can you look over here? Look at this square. This square right here. Look at the center of it. Right there. Good. Yep, yeah, look straight into the camera now. Straight into it. Good. Now smile a little bit. Oh, that's a bit too much. You can keep your mouth closed. Okay. Now look at that sign right there. Good. You're such a great subject. You're a lot of fun to work with and you're photogenic. Same thing, so just look straight down into the barrel here. Same thing. Yeah, these are a bit of an extreme close up. Now, if you can just Move your head way extreme to the right. Like looking up way over there. Yep, just, there we go. Perfect. I used to work at Sears Portrait Studio back when that was a thing. All those glamour shots from the 80s were all by me. Why do you think I put so much styling product in your hair? No, I'm joking. I just wanted to get you to smile. It worked. Good. I think we actually have enough photos to go with. You were a great subject. I really enjoyed my time working with you and hopefully we can work together again. So if you come back in two days, we should have all of your photos ready for you. I can email you some previews if you'd like. Great. Yeah, you can just fill out your email in the form before you leave. Great. I hope you have an excellent day. Bye.